Hello and welcome. This is a complete beginner's step by step master class, a complete course on Gatling. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. I'm Raghav and I will start from scratch. So in case you are a complete beginner, you don't know anything about Gatling, don't worry. Even if you have never worked with any performance testing tool or any automation tool, do not worry. I will start from scratch and we will go up step by step and you can follow along with me with hands on whenever you face any issues or if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section or the Q&A section of this video and you can use this on Windows and Mac operating system so here I have my Windows system and here this is my Mac system so I will show you on both the systems wherever there will be any difference I will tell you so you can follow with me on any of these operating systems and in case you find the speed of this video is slow you can always change the speed from the player settings okay so uh, let's get started let us look at the topics and I will also keep a link or a timeline in the description of this video for all the topics so in case you want to jump to any of the topic you can always go to the timeline and you can find that in the description so we will start with the introduction and the basics so we will start with what is Gatling we will look at some of the features of Gatling and what all we can do with Gatling then we will see how can we use Gatling so for using Gatling we have two options we can use the standalone Gatling that is we can just download the Gatling bundle from the internet and we can unzip it and start using Gatling the Gatling tool and the other option is we can create a project with Gatling using a build tool like Maven or Gradle and I will tell you both the options I will show both the options how you can use both these options to use Gatling we will look at the Gatling recorder how do we use it the different uh, sections of the recorder we will then see the simulation script how do we create the simulation script for our performance test what are the different parts how to read the script how to create the script then we will look at virtual users what are virtual users how do we create virtual users different strategies for virtual user injection in our performance test and then we will also see how to do API performance testing with Gatling then we will go to parameterization we will see feeders how can we use feeders in Gatling to get our data from some external data source like a CSV file we will then learn how can we do correlation correlation means chaining where we extract the uh, a value from the response of one request and then store it in a variable and then use it in any subsequent request so that is called as correlation or chaining it is also called as dynamic referencing because all this referencing happens at runtime dynamically then we will learn the commands the different commands we can use to run our Gatling tests we will look at assertions checks and assertions so we have checks and assertions in Gatling uh, we will see step by step what are these and how do we use these assertions then we will also see how can we use Gatling with a version control system or a VCS tool like Git. How can we use Gatling with our CI CD systems or a CI tool like Jenkins. And then we will look at Gatling Enterprise. So Gatling uh, has also a commercial version called as Gatling Enterprise. We will briefly look into what is Gatling Enterprise and how can we use it. Although we will uh, focus mostly on the Gatling open source for this entire session and this entire lecture and then I will have a section for references that will be handy for you I will also keep some links for the quizzes in the description of the video so whenever you want you can take the quiz as well and test your knowledge so this is going to be the topics for the session on Gatling and with that let's get started and let us start with what is Gatling so Gatling is a very powerful and open source load testing solution and the reason we say it is very powerful is because using Gatling you can create millions of virtual users on your system and it is uh, it does not take a lot of resources on the system the CPU RAM etc I will tell you what is the concept behind that but in general you can understand it is very very powerful it is a script based performance testing tool that means we create our performance test as a script we create a simulation script and then using the simulation script we create our scenarios of the performance test we also give the user load so I will tell you step by step how to do that and 
do not worry if you do not know any scripting or any programming language gatling has its own dsl and although we can use gatling with java kotlin and scala but it has its own dsl so once we understand how do we create a simulation script and different parts of the simulation script once we go through three or four example simulation script you can read and understand any gatling simulation script and you can also write the script so you do not have to know the uh, all the programming languages that we will be using if you know some basics that is enough but i will tell you step by step how will you create the script then gatling itself is written in scala however we can use gatling with scala java and kotlin so we have two options one is standalone gatling that we can just download and we can start using it we also get a recorder we can record our test and then run our test we can set our user load and run it or we can create a project and in that we can uh, select any of these languages but as i said we don't have to learn the entire language i will tell you how you can create a simulation script then gatling because it is very powerful it can be used for heavy load testing and we will see this how we can use it and gatling includes a recorder so in gatling we get a recorder that we can use to record our test and then it also generates a script and then we can use this script to do our performance testing also gatling can create very intuitive and very colorful reports so uh, if i very quickly uh, show some let me search for some gatling reports and go to images so that you can see some example so you can see this is how you can create some very intuitive and colorful reports with gatling here you will see uh, all the charts the bar graphs etc and you will also see tables where you can see all your requests and all the metrics of the performance test the minimum time maximum time response time 95 percentile 99 percentile mean standard deviation and along with that you will also see all the graphs for how did your performance test go the virtual users so in a moment once we create our uh, once we start our gatling and run some simulation you will see reports like this which will be browser based you can open it in your browser and you will see reports like this okay so this is at a very high level what is gatling now to understand a little bo bit more details about gatling we have already seen it is a very powerful open source performance testing solution and it is easy to use and it is easy to maintain it is a script based performance testing tool and supports java kotlin and scala we can create our gatling project and scripts in any of these programming languages it is itself is written in scala and it was launched in gen 2020 2012 and we know it can be used for heavy load testing it requires very less ram and cpu and the system resources and we will see the concept behind this in a moment it includes a recorder and can generate colorful reports and we can use gatling as a standalone tool or can integrate it with our project using a build tools like maven gradle etc and then gatling has a open source version and a paid commercial version called as Gatling Enterprise which was earlier called as Gatling Frontline okay and we already know these features powerful script based geo recorder we can also run our test from command line we can do integration with version control system and CI CD processes okay before we start the practical hands-on and before we start using Gatling let us very quickly understand the ACA toolkit now it is not necessary for you to know this for working with Gatling but it will be a good information Gatling is based on the ACA toolkit and this framework is used to build highly concurrent and distributed message driven applications for Java and Scala and Gatling is one of them okay and that is the reason so uh, ACA overrides the JVM limitation of handling many threads and virtual user in uh, Gatling therefore are messages not threads and therefore it is very powerful because when you create one virtual user it is not consuming one thread from the system but one thread can have many virtual users because virtual users are messages and not threads on the system and that is the reason why Gatling is so powerful how it can create millions of virtual users by using very less RAM and CPU and the system resources so Gatling is based on the scala 
Eka and Netty framework. Just in case you want, just for your information, if you Google for Eka toolkit. So this is the link for Eka toolkit. If I go here, you can read about this. So you can see this is the home page of Eka toolkit. It is used for creating high performance applications. It says up to 200 million messages per second on a single machine. And that means in case of Gatling, it can create 200 million virtual users per second with very less RAM and CPU. Okay. Now, although you can use Gatling on, on your uh, systems that you are using, that is your primary system, and we can continue with this session on the same system you are using. But in general, uh, when you have to do real world performance test, when you have to do performance testing project, it is recommended that you always use a separate system. Uh, you always use a separate environment so that when you create very heavy load test, very heavy performance test, even if something goes wrong, even if it compromises the system or the hardware of the so or the software, uh, we do not have a lot of problems. So never use your primary system. Although for just creating the performance test and using it with 5, 10, 20, 50 virtual users, it is okay. So we will do exactly that. We will learn how do we create the performance test and when you have to use it for your projects, you always uh, try it on a different system and environment. Okay. Now. Let us go to how to use Gatling. So there are two ways you can download Gatling standalone bundle from the Gatling website. And the prerequisite for that will be you should have JDK on your system. Okay. And the other option is to use Gatling. You can integrate Gatling with your build tool like Maven or Gradle or SPT. So we can create a complete project. And for that, the prerequisites are we will need java jdk we will also need scala uh, now scala is not necessary as long as you can get scala on your ide for example if you are using the gatling scala project you are creating a gatling scala project and your ide like the intellij or eclipse ide that you are using has the option to get the scala libraries or the scala plugin in that case it is not necessary to have scale on the system and we will see how to do that then we will need a build tool whatever build tool you want for example maven gradle spt in this uh, course we will create a gatling project with maven and then some ide like intellij or eclipse or vs code where we will create our entire project okay so these are the prerequisites for using gatling with your build tool okay now let us start with the Gatling standalone and here we will see how do we download and set up Gatling standalone tool. How do we use the Gatling recorder to record our tests and scripts and then finally how do we use the Gatling runner to run our test and then view the reports. Okay. So here the first thing is we should have JDK on the system and for that you can run the command Java space hyphen version or Java C space hyphen version to check. I will keep all these notes and links in the description of the video. You can also refer from there. So I am on my Windows system now and I press the Windows key or the command key to bring up this search and I will say CMD to open the command prompt and hit enter. And yes, I am here. So I will say Java space hyphen version and hit enter and it says Java is not there on the system to check the Java compiler. I will say Java C space hyphen version and it is also not there. Okay. And if I go on my Mac system, I am pressing command plus space to bring up the spotlight search and I will open terminal and here I will say Java space hyphen version and Java C space hyphen version. So looks like on my Mac system, I have JDK 21, which is fine. So the first thing is we should have we should install JDK on the system. So here I will go on my browser. Now, if you already have uh, Java JDK, it is fine. You can skip the step. Also, you can verify if you go to the Gatling installation or Gatling prerequisites page. So here I am going to the Gatling installation. This is the official website of Gatling that is Gatling IO. You can see the requirement for Java. So as of now, at the time of recording this video, it says Gatling can work with JDK 11, 17 and 21. So you can check at your time what is the 
what are the versions supported and accordingly you can get the version also just in case you face any issues in getting java jdk you can go on my website that is automationstepbystep.com and here uh, if you go to if you go to the section for java yes it is here java and java tips and tricks here i have created some videos on how to install java on windows how to install or update java on mac so you can watch this and i have created some recent videos on how to download and install java jdk without login to oracle then in this playlist i have videos on uh, how to install java jdk on mac os and set java home variable how to switch java version and set java home path on mac os m1 m2 chip so just in case you face any issues you can watch this but for windows let me show you because i don't have uh, jdk on my windows so i will go to my windows system and search for jdk download and i get this link for from oracle so this takes me to this link oracle.com java technologies downloads and here if i scroll down i can see there is jdk 21 there is also jdk 17 so let me try with jdk 17 for now i clicked here then here i will click on windows and i can get a windows installer so that will download our installer i will just have to run the installer and that will download and uh, install and set up java on the system the other option is you can get this zipped folder and just unzip it and then set the environment variables yourself and that will set up java on the system so let me try with this one i will get this zipped folder so it is getting downloaded and yes it is downloaded here in my downloads folder okay i will go here let me just remove these earlier downloads i anyways don't need them okay so i have got this jdk zipped folder i can unzip it and keep at any location on the system so let me just go to my d drive generally we keep it in c program files but you can keep it anywhere because we are manually going to set the environment variables so here i will create a new folder you can go from here or just press ctrl shift and n key on the keyboard to create a new folder and i will call it as jdk you can name it anything i just need to unzip my folder here so i will say right click and extract all and i will you can extract here itself or in my case i will go to this jdk folder and i will extract okay so this will extract the jdk folder here okay yes so it has come here in my jdk folder or i can do one thing i can directly cut this folder from here and put it under my d drive and remove this so that it has a shorter path yes so the jdk folder has come here and you can see i have got inside this bin folder and all these things however if i now check and go up to my command line and check java space hyphen version or java c space hyphen version i am still not getting because we have not yet set the environment variables so for this i will again go to my windows button and open this and search for environment and i get this option edit system environment variables you can also go from here from the control panel or uh, if you do a right click on your my computer or this pc and go to properties uh, here also you will see the option if you search from here environment you will see this option edit environment variables for your account and edit system environment variables so from anywhere you can go to the environment variables and click here now here we have two sections 
the first section at the top this is for the these are the environment variables for the current user on the system so in my case I am the administrator so you can see the user variables for administrator and then this section at the bottom is the is for system variables that means if you set something here that will be present on the at a system level for all the users whatever you set here will be available for that particular user so whatever permissions you have you can do that if you have permissions to add environment variables here you can add that otherwise you can add here as well so in my case I will go here and you can check if you have uh, environment variables by the name Java home if you start typing J A V A it will take you there but otherwise you can click on new and here create a variable called Java underscore home all in capital all in uppercase and then the value should be the location of the folder of your GDK and it should be the folder that has all these folders and files bin conf include and all these files so this is I will copy from here and paste it here now another way to do it is you can click on browse directory and then browse to the folder so that you don't make any mistakes but otherwise you can do it like this and say ok now after this you have to go to the path environment variable so start typing path you will go here click on edit now here make sure you do not make any changes you do not delete or change any of the existing values we have to add a new row and in case you are using a very old windows system where these values are shown in a single text box in that case make sure you do not uh, delete or change anything go to the end just give a semicolon at the end and add the new path so in this case we will click on new and here we have to add the location until the bin folder of our JDK folder that means I have to go until this location which is bin and I will add it here in a new row okay now you can do it like this the other way is this part until this part we have already given in our java home environment variable so for that what I can do is to refer that I will say percentage percentage and give the environment variable that we have set there java home and then backslash bin so that means it will refer whatever value is there in java home and then add bin to it so this is also one way this also helps because tomorrow if I change anything in java home I will not have to change it here it will take it from there so say ok say ok and ok and now if you if I check here if I press the up arrow on my keyboard to go to the earlier commands and run it you can see as of now still I am not getting the Java version and the reason is this command line is maintaining the old session I will exit from here and open a new command prompt and now I will say Java space hyphen version and java is set and I will say java c that is java compiler space hyphen version and run and I have this java compiler as well and java compiler comes with jdk so that means jdk is now set up on my system so I will exit from here now just in case uh, you are interested to understand more about environment variables uh, you can search how environment variables work and I have created a video on that so this is the one which I created some time ago it is very interesting you can see how environment variables work so for now let us come back to our topic so we have got JDK on our system just in case you are on using Mac and you don't have JDK you can refer my videos which I have informed you you can check that now step number one is we will download Gatling from the Gatling website so go to your browser and go to the Gatling website which is gatling.io or you can if you just search for Gatling it will take you to the Gatling website okay now earlier we also had a separate link for the Gatling open source that was uh, gatling.io forward slash open source but now if you go here to this link it will directly take you if I go try to go here Gatling open source it will directly take me to the products page and if you go to the products page and if you scroll down you can see some features and information about Gatling you can check that and if you scroll down 
we will see this open source code model section where you can see this is the Gatling open source and this is the Gatling enterprise so I will click on this download open source and you can see it has downloaded this Gatling bundle which is a zipped folder now you can unzip it at any location on your system so you can do a right click and say extract all you can unzip anywhere uh, I will just unzip it in my D drive so that I have extra space on my D drive let me just do it here let me see if it unzips directly or within a folder yeah it has unzipped here you can see it is unzipping here and done so if I go inside this you can see we have all these folders bin conflict results user files if I go to the bin folder you will see these applications or these batch files so this is Gatling dot bat Gatling dot sh then we have recorder dot bat recorder dot sh in case you don't see the extensions you can always go to view and here we have options to file name extensions so check this and then you will also see the extensions now here the bat files that is the extensions uh, the files that have the extension dot bat are for windows so gatling dot bat and recorder dot bat will be used on windows and the files with dot sh extension gatling dot sh and recorder dot sh will be used on mac or linux operating systems okay so you can check this we have gatling dot bat and for windows and gatling dot sh on mac recorder.bat on windows and recorder.sh on mac so anyways all these four will be present it's just that if you're using mac you will use the sh files if you are using windows operating system you we will use the dot bat files and i already have this on my mac system if i just show you if i go to my downloads folder i have this gatling downloaded so even if you do it on your mac it will download as a zipped folder you will unzip it and you can see all these files and files of Gatling okay so we have done with the setup part now we will come to the recorder part you can see we have got recorder dot bat here for Windows so to open it you can double click here so I will show you all the options how to open it now in case you are able to open by double clicking you will see this information more info it will say run anyway in case it is working this way it is fine otherwise so if I say run anyway and it runs it's okay otherwise you can go to command line and go to the location of this file that is the bin folder of Gatling so I will open my command line and my command line by default opens on C drive and if I see my Gatling folder it is on D drive so first I will change the drive I will say D colon and hit enter I am on now D drive now I will say CD that means to change directory space and the location of the folder of the bin folder of Gatling so I will go here copy this location and paste it here and hit enter and I am on the bin folder now just in case your folder has any spaces like any names in this path any name of the, any folder in this path has some spaces in that case you can put your path within double quotes and then hit enter so it will go to that particular folder so now, now I am on the bin folder another way on Windows is that you can go to the address bar of that particular folder where you want to go and then say CMD and hit enter you can see it opens command line on the same folder so this is another way for Windows and here I will just say uh, I will have to run the recorder first to record my test so just say recorder I can also just say REC and uh, press tab to auto complete and hit enter it will first check JDK is present and it will also set Gatling home and if everything is fine it will open the Gatling recorder 
so this is our gatling recorder on mac you will go to the terminal so i'm already here on the terminal sorry let's do close this i'm already in the terminal i will first go to the location of my bin folder which is this so i can just copy it like this i will i can press command i and copy the location and here i will say cd and i will also say the bin folder and here you will say sh recorder dot sh you can say dot forward slash recorder dot sh or sh recorder dot sh that will open the gatling recorder so even if you say dot forward slash recorder dot sh that should also open the gatling recorder okay so this is the main difference in windows and mac after you have opened the gatling recorder the rest of the steps are remain will go uh, will remain the same so i will now show you most of the steps on windows whenever there are any differences i will tell you so we have done this thing now we have come to the this part where we will record a test and then we will create a script now if you see on your gatling recorder here at the top at the top right you will see recorder mode and we have two options we can record in a http proxy mode or a hr converter hr is http archive now we will first see hr converter mode and then later on we will see the proxy mode as well so for now i am converting i am changing it to hr converter now here as you change it you can see it is asking for a hr file so we have to give the location of our hr file so for that what we can do is go to your browser and go to the application that you want to record so for now i will go to i will search for gatling computer database which is a demo application from gatling itself that you can use for learning gatling so this is the link this is computer hyphen database dot gatling dot io forward slash computers or if you just search for gatling computer database on google you will get this so this is the application where you can see we can we have some computers it can create new computers if you go to add new computer give the computer name date company and click on add and then you can also search the computers from here you can say a and filter and it will show the computers you can go to any computer and we can also delete the computers from here okay so this is what we are going to use this application and we need the hr file of our uh, test or whatever session we want to record so for that you can go to these three dots here on your browser you will see these three dots so i'm on my chrome browser even on firefox and other browsers also you will find this even on edge you will find this and go to more tools and go to developer tools so basically we have to go to the developer tools now this is one way to go of going to developer tools and you can see it opens the developer tools here and if you want to change the location you can go here and i want to dock it at the bottom so click on this dock to bottom and you can see it comes here okay the other way is you can do a right click anywhere on any element uh, so if i just close this i will show again you can do a right click on any element or anywhere and say inspect it opens the developer tools but it is on the elements tab so make sure you go to the network tab okay now here on the network tab uh check if you have already any rec uh, records here or any already any rows so if you have you can click here to clear all the network logs this is the button to clear and check preserve log and then make sure the recording is on okay so now we have a clean network logs and now we will record our session so the first thing is we also need to record going to this particular application or this website so just refresh the page or reload the page so that it records and you can see it has recorded the logs for going to the page now uh, let me just go to add new computer and you can give some name here 
my computer one you can give some date let us say it is 2022-0101 discontinue date let me say 2024-0101 and then let us select some company here and say create and it is created and if you want to record more session you can do that but for now I will stop here and then click on the stop button here so this is stopped now here let me expand this and show you so here we have options you can see this button here which says export to HAR you can use this or you can just do a right click on your logs and we get this option save all as HAR with content so I will click here and you can see the extension of this file is going to be .hr you can keep the same name or if you want you can change the name keeping the extension as .hr I will say this is uh, my session one or let me say demo one .hr you can keep it any name with the extension .hr and save it it has saved in my downloads folder and now we will go to the Gatling recorder we have already changed the mode to HR converter we will now browse our HR file so in my case it is in my downloads folder so I'll go to my downloads folder here and you can see the HR file open it so we have got it here now we have to give some uh, information here package class name so you can give any class name so I will say let us say recorded simulation one and in case you want to keep it in a separate folder in a package you can give the package name so let me say this is test or let me say this is demo so it, it will create a folder called demo and keep the script by the name recorded simulation one there okay then we have the format if you want to store it or if you want to create it in java kotlin or scalar so you can select anything let us uh, for now I'm selecting here Scala then we have these checkboxes follow redirects infer HTML resources automatic reference etc now we will learn about all this but for now let us keep all this as default this is the default simulation folder which is our user file simulation where it will go in case you want you can change this but let us keep it as default then coding also I'm keeping it as it is now here we have some filters if you want to allow some particular resources or deny some particular resources you can give them here by clicking on the plus or minus button you can add or delete now generally when we record our test a lot of static resources like images CSS etc all get recorded but generally we don't need them in our test so I will click here no static resources so you can see all the general static resources like JS CSS GIFs images all have come here in case you want to delete any of these you can click and click on minus button or you can also add more by clicking on the plus button okay and once all this is done you can say start here is the start button at the bottom corner and you should get a message successfully converted HR file to a Gatling simulation now if you go to your folder the Gatling folder if I go here you will see there is a user files folder here inside this you will see a folder for simulations and then if you have given any package name there will be a folder by that name and inside that you will find your script okay and just in case here you have used any other output folder any other location you will find it there but this is by default where it will go okay now we will discuss about the script we will see the script and what are the different sections so you can open it in any of the text editors so you can open it with any of your IDEs or text editors so let's say if I open it with notepad so this is the a Scala script now this is not very readable you can use any IDs if you have like VS code or IntelliJ or you can get 
sublime text editor on your system so i'll just download sublime text and that is here and we'll run it run the installer very quickly so we can see the script in a better way okay so this is done if i now again try to open it let me see if it gives me the option of sublime text here or i can just open sublime text separately and then drag this file there yes so you can see this is our script here and i will select everything and press command and plus key or windows plus key let me see if it uh, okay this is the magnifier i'll have to exit this okay i will select and press control and plus to increase the font okay so this is our gatling simulation script and do not worry if you are not understanding it as of now so generally uh, there is a class by the same name as we have given and there are there is some protocol section and then if you scroll down you will see your actual scenario here where it says this SCN scenario recorded simulation one you can see your uh, request so first we went to the home page then we went to the new computers page and then we created the new computer which is a post request and then here is the user setup so it is running with a single user so for now we will just use this don't we will not change anything and we will learn more about the script later for now we just have to run this script okay so we have done all these steps we have recorded the HAR file and then we have uploaded the HAR file in Gatling recorder and generated the script okay now before going to the proxy mode we also have the proxy mode we will first run and check if we are able to run it with gatling so here i will again go to my command line if you want you can close the recorder and i will go back to my command prompt here and i am under my i am on my gatling bin folder and now i have to run this file that is gatling dot bat on mac you can run gatling dot sh on windows we will use this file gatling dot bat so here i will say gat and press tab to auto complete and hit enter and you can see it says do you want to run the simulation locally or on gatling enterprise or just package it we have all these options zero for quit one to run the lo uh, simulation locally and then other options for now we will use the option one which is run the simulation locally so i will say one and hit enter and as you do that in case you have more than one simulations in your folder the simulations folder it will ask you which one do you want to run so let's see here it is saying choose the simulation number so our simulation is at index number one so we already get a, a template simulation which is computer database but what we recorded is at number one so i will say one and hit enter you can give some description which is optional the description will be shown in the report and you can hit enter to start and you can see it has started and once it will be executed we will also get the reports so this is running now and you can see it is done here and it gives us all the global metrics and information and then we also s can see here is the location of our report which is a 
HTML report, you can directly copy this location and open it in a browser or you can go to your Gatling folder and you will see a folder called results. Go here and you can see another folder and you will see your result file which is index.html. Click here open in a browser and you can see the result here. You can see it in a dark mode or a light mode. You can control it from here and then you can see all the report. So we can see a summary here, number of requests, the Gatling version, the uh, run information is here. If you scroll down, you can see all the metrics for the overall run, the requests, the count of the request, minimum, maximum time, mean time, standard deviation. And then you can see active users along simulation. For this, we just use a single virtual user. Then we have all the response time distribution. Then all these graphs and reports are here. You can check for this, change the time and check. Then if you go to details, you can see the result report for each request. Now here, if you see the request names we are getting is like request zero, request one, request two and so on. That is because this is what we have in our script. In case you want, you can change the request names in your script. So if I again show you the script, which is in my user files, simulations, and this is the script. So let me just open it. So you can see here, these names, we have like this request zero request one request two in case you want you can change this and that will be reflected in the report as well but just for now we have we are able to record and run the first gatling test with a single virtual user okay so we have done this and i hope all this is fine you can let me know if you are facing any issues the next we will also see how can we record in a proxy mode Okay, now here, step number one is we will open the recorder. Now here in the bracket, I have get written here standalone or project. That means you can open the recorder, Gatling recorder from the standalone tool that we have seen just now. Or if you want, you can also open it from the project. For now, don't worry about this. When we will create the Gatling project, you will know how you can use the Gatling recorder from the project. But for now, let us open our Gatling recorder from our Gatling folder. So I'll just go to my command line and I am already on my Gatling bin folder. I will clear the screen. I am already here and I will have to run the recorder.bat file to open my Gatling recorder. Okay, now here I will use HTTP proxy mode and if you use this you can see here we are getting some options to set up the proxy so here you have to give the port number so by default it takes localhost as the ip or the address and then we have to also give the port where it will listen so uh, you can give any port which is available and you can use that for now let me say 8484 okay now the same port you will have to use on your browser so that it can listen for the network traffic from that particular browser. So before that also in case the application you want to record is a HTTPS application in that case we will also need a certificate. So if you are using a HTTP application in that case this part is not required but if you are using any HTTPS that is more secure application we also need the certificate so here if you go here we have options for certificate authority provided key store self-signed certificate so based on your application or whatever works for you you can select this uh, let me go to certificate authority because here it will give us a option to generate the certificate that we can use on our browser so select certificate authority and click on generate ca and you can save it at any location on your system and once you do that you can see the Gatling CA certificate and key was successfully saved here and when you say okay 
you will see here it also refers that certificate and the key here in Gatling recorder so the CA certificate and the CA private key gets referred directly here you can always browse manually as well and if you see here in your on your system wherever you have saved it you will see these certificate and key files are present okay now I will have to use this port and the certificate on my browser where I want to record so you can use any browser in case you go to Chrome and you check here if you go to Chrome and you will see if you go to the settings if you click on these three dots you will see settings here and if you start searching for proxy you will set see this options now in case you are using Chrome or browsers like edge it depends on the computer proxy settings that is your systems proxy settings so whatever proxy setting you do on your system it will work with that now in case due to any reason you don't want to set the proxy at a system level then you can use a browser that allows you to set proxy at a browser level and Firefox is one of that browser I will show you both I will also show you how to do it in Chrome and how to do it in Firefox so let me first show Firefox because it allows us to uh, set the proxy at a browser level so let me check uh, Firefox if it is not there you can always download it I will very quickly download Firefox browser and I will then use it so it is downloaded it will ask me to run the installer file so it is installing uh, I'll just I don't want to make it as a default browser so I'll just skip for now and now here in the Firefox browser if I go to this settings here and go to proxy you can now see we can set proxy at a browser level and I will click on manual proxy configuration and here I will say localhost and the port number the same port that you have used on the Gatling recorder so which is 8484 and I will say also use this for HTTPS so that means both for HTTP and HTTP applications HTTPS applications it will use localhost and 8484 I will say ok now the next thing is because uh, we have to use a HTTPS application we also need to set the certificate so again search for certificates and here we get an option view certificates and here I will click on import now browse the certificate that was generated from Gatling recorder and say open and also check trust this certificate authority to identify websites and say ok and ok now after setting this if you go to uh, the website let us say we want to record on our same computers database the Gatling website if I try to go here so let us see if it takes us here you can see it says the proxy server is refusing connections and it is not able to connect that means the proxy server is not yet working and that is because we have not yet started the proxy server from our Gatling recorder so once you have set the proxy it will start connecting to the websites or to the servers only after the proxy server is started so let us come back to our Gatling recorder we have given this option okay now uh, package class name you can give whatever you want so let us say I want to store it in the demo package as earlier and the recorded simulation I will say this is recorded simulation 2 whatever class name you want to keep you can check the format here whatever you want Scala Java etc and then I'm keeping all this 
by default as it is only I will check this no static resources and now when I say start you can see we get this this window where it will store all the network logs or all the network requests and responses records that we give from that particular proxy connection that is the port 8484 localhost 8484 and it will not record any other network traffic so now if you go to your browser and again refresh the page you can see now it is able to connect because the server is now running the proxy server and now you can record whatever you want so if I go here and filter you can see this is getting recorded here it has sent this get request with this filter and if I click on anything you can see all this is getting recorded it clicked here then I will say delete this computer and the computer is deleted and all that whatever I am doing is getting recorded here okay so once you have recorded your actions okay you can st click stop and save we also have option to add the tags so you can click on add tags but as of now I am not adding it I will say stop and save and that's it it must have saved if you go to your Gatling simulation folder uh, this is user files simulations and demo package you can see this simulation Gatling simulation 2 is recorded and is saved if I try to open it and check you can see this is our script the class and here these are our requests it went to the home page searched for the computer with the name ace and then it deleted the computer so you can see all these options are here all this is getting recorded okay so we have done this step number one two uh, we also provided the port number and then we set the proxy on the browser then we recorded and our script is recorded if you want to run it you can run it in the same way using Gatling so if you go here and stop the recorder and I will run the Gatling.bat file I will use option 1 that is run simulation locally and it should show me all the simulations I have so I will say 2 which is my simulation I just recorded and I will give some description and run it so it is now running so once this gets completed we will check the report as well and this is done you can go to the results folder and this is our result here and let us check this and we have got our report also now uh, let us also see if you have to use Chrome or Microsoft Edge you can see in these browsers let us also check here this is Microsoft Edge again if I go to the settings in this browser let me go here if I go to settings and search for proxy you can see here also it will open my computer proxy and set it there so uh, if I have to if I don't have option for Firefox how to do it so let me show you on Chrome so I will go to the settings and search for proxy and it says open your computer proxy settings you can click here and it will open your systems proxy settings now here make sure that in case any of your application needs is running uh, and it needs some particular setup or network which you are already running uh, may, don't change it otherwise it can stop that so make sure that you it does not uh, you know hamper any of your current processes you can stop this automatically detect settings and 
use this manually manual proxy setup and give the address which is localhost here and the port number that you want to use that you have set on Gatling as well the Gatling recorder which is 8484 and that's it click on save okay after this also search for also go back to your browser and search for certificates and you will see this certificates here so go to security in this case I will have to go to security and here you will see option for certificates so here it is manage certificates go here and click on import and browse the certificate that we got generated from Gatling you can also uh, by this time if you want you can open your Gatling recorder and here make sure that you have HTTP proxy here you can set whatever port number you want and here I am selecting certificate authority so in case you want to use the earlier certificate that we already have generated you can uh, check this or can also say generate new certificate okay so it is generated and you can always check it here in your wherever you have stored them so this is the one and now on the browser I am here manage certificates I will get the certificate you may have to check all the files here all the file extensions and now it is here open it and say next so here if you say browse this is all fine next and finish so you can see it says the import was successful and when you go here you should check if you have got the certificate so it will be something like Gatling and if you don't see it here you can go to wherever you can see the certificate so basically uh, you should see the certificate under the trusted root certificate let me try once again I will say next browse the certificate again which is in my documents folder and select it open next uh, let me say this automatically select the certificate based on the type and say next so here is all the information so this is the file name say finish and it says the import was successful so I should be able to see it here so if I check here yes so see it is here intermediate certificate authorities and in case it is not trusted maybe it may not not work for some of the websites so if I go here and do a right click or uh, let me just go here this is the certificate and if you see here it says thus this CA root certificate is not trusted because it is not in the trusted root certificate authorities so for this if I try to move it here let me see or I'll close this I will again go to uh, manage certificates and here let me try to check this certificate and here okay I believe uh, this has to be selected while I am importing or uploading the certificate so let me try again I will click on import and 
browse the certificate again and this is my certificate file open and say next now here I will say this place all the certificate in the following store which is trusted root certificate authorities so now it should come there so let me check this time yes so here it says here it gives me this warning you are about to install a certificate from a certification authority claiming to represent all this so make sure based on uh, you know your system and everything if it is fine for you and secure you can say yes and now it should be available here and you can see yes it is now here in the trusted root certificate authority and you can see the certificate so now it should work on Chrome and browsers like Microsoft Edge also you can do the same thing so if I now try to go to my computer database here you can see now it is not able to connect the reason is we have set up the proxy on the browser but we have not yet started the proxy server from our Gatling recorder so let us go to our Gatling recorder and uh, this is all fine uh, the demo I will keep it the package I will keep as demo this I will call as recorded simulation 3 all the other things are as it is I will say no static resources and I will click on start and now I will go back to my browser and again reload the page and let us see this time yes it goes there to the application and you can also see the records are getting generated here as well so I can go to the computer and if I want I can make some changes or so whatever I want to record will get recorded and then I will say stop and save and in, now if you check in your Gatling folder in the user files simulations and we have got our script recorded okay so this is how can you can use the proxy mode in the Gatling recorder and we have already seen how you can run your script okay now one more thing uh, in the Gatling recorder in the proxy mode uh, in case let me give a new class name to record a new script and I will whatever format you want and when you say start you can also see there is a field for tag and let us say if I say something here let us say this is home underscore or whatever you want let me say click on add and you can see a tag is added here and now I will continue my recording so let us say I go here so it's all this is recorded then when I say I will again add a tag create new computer and I will continue my recording I will say add new computer and I will add something here or whatever I want to record and once done I will say stop and save and now if I check my script you can see the tags that I have added will also be shown as comments here so home is here create new computer so this is just for your reference if you have a very long script and you want to keep some tags so that it shows in the uh, script you can also add tags like this so for now I will stop the recorder also make sure you can uh, go you go to your browser and your system wherever you have set the proxy and change the proxy or disable the manual proxy so I will go to my settings here and go to proxy and in this case it will ask me to change it at a system level so I will stop the manual proxy and say automatically detect settings and on browsers like Firefox where the proxy is set at a browser level you can go and disable the proxy so I will go here and say no proxy or auto detect proxy whatever works 
so let me also confirm if I do it and go to a website it is able to go and it is all working fine okay so this is how we can use the getting recorder we have seen both the modes we have seen the HR mode HR converter mode and the proxy mode okay now after this uh, so we have we have seen the topics we have seen what is Gatling we have seen the features how to use and we have seen the Gatling standalone we have seen the setup and the recorder and we have done until here we were able to run our Gatling script so after this we have how do we do the project setup and the rest of the topics so I will cover that in the next part so until here I hope this is all fine if you face any issues if you have any questions you can let me know and I will see you in the next part of Gatling thank you for watching and never stop learning